He is known for his contributions to the field of philosophy, particularly in the areas of epistemology and the philosophy of science. He is recognized for his groundbreaking paper on Einstein's special theory of relativity, published only 10 years after the theory's inception. His name is Moritz Schlick. Moritz Schlick, the renowned philosopher and physicist, was born into a wealthy Prussian family in Berlin. Raised in a household with deep nationalist and conservative traditions, Schlick's intellectual curiosity was ignited at a young age. At 16, he delved into the works of influential philosophers such as Descartes and Schopenhauer, but it was Nietzsche's magnum opus, also Sprach Zarathustra, that left an indelible impression on his young mind. Driven by a thirst for knowledge, Schlick pursued studies in physics at esteemed universities such as Heidelberg, Lausanne, and Berlin. Under the guidance of Max Planck, he embarked on a path that intertwined his love for philosophy with the pursuit of scientific truth. In his autobiography, he expressed his conviction that only mathematical physics could provide him with genuine and precise understanding, harboring a profound skepticism towards metaphysical speculations. Having obtained his PhD in 1904, Schlick's academic journey took him to Göttingen as a privatdozent before he turned his attention to the study of philosophy in Zurich. It was there that he met and married Blanche Hardy in 1907, a union that would profoundly shape his personal and intellectual life. Publishing works such as, Lebenswhite, a reflection on eudaemonism, Schlick delved into the pursuit of personal fulfillment as the key to lasting happiness. In 1910, Schlick's habilitation thesis on the nature of truth according to modern logic was published, solidifying his reputation as a profound thinker. As his academic career progressed, he explored various topics, from aesthetics to epistemology, delving into the philosophy of science and broader scientific questions. Notably, he published an influential paper in 1915 on Einstein's special theory of relativity, a subject that was still in its infancy, and further expanded on his findings in Rom und die Zeit in der Gegenwartigen Physik, applying Poincaré's geometric conventionalism to elucidate Einstein's adoption of non-Euclidean geometry in the general theory of relativity. Moritz Schlick's journey as a philosopher and physicist would continue to shape the landscape of intellectual discourse. His profound skepticism, interdisciplinary approach, and groundbreaking insights made him a pioneer in his field, leaving an enduring legacy that resonates to this day. Moritz Schlick, a prominent philosopher of his time, found himself in Vienna in 1922, taking over the chair of native philosophy at the esteemed university. He was known for his ability to bring together talented individuals in both the philosophical and scientific realms. One such group that he led was composed of scientists and philosophers who regularly gathered to discuss philosophical topics in the sciences. They were initially called the Ernst Mach Association but eventually became known as the Vienna Circle. Among the members of this group were renowned mathematician Hans Hahn and other notable figures like Rudolf Carnap, Herbert Fiegel, Kurt Gödel, Otto Neurath, and Friedrich Weismann. In 1925-26, the group delved into the works of Gottlob Freya, Bertrand Russell, and Ludwig Wittgenstein, particularly focusing on Wittgenstein's book, Tractatus Logico-Philosophicus. This work presented a logical theory of symbolism and a picture, or model, theory of language. Schlick and his circle were greatly impressed by Wittgenstein's ideas, dedicating much time to studying and discussing them. Wittgenstein himself eventually agreed to meet with Schlick and other members to engage in discussions about the Tractatus and other philosophical concepts. However, he later limited his interactions to only those who shared his perspectives. Thanks to Schlick's influence, Wittgenstein was encouraged to return to philosophy after a decade away from the field. Their discussions continued, even when Wittgenstein no longer met with the other members of the Vienna Circle. They exchanged letters, where Wittgenstein shared his thoughts with Schlick. Moritz Schlick, a prominent philosopher of the early 20th century, had dedicated years of his life to developing his magnum opus, the Allgemeine Erkenntnislehre, or the General Theory of Knowledge. Completed between 1918 and 1925, this work presented a compelling argument against the existence of synthetic a priori knowledge, a concept that had long been accepted in philosophical circles. Schlick's acute reasoning in the general theory challenged the notion that there could be truths that are self-evident to reason alone. In his critique of synthetic a priori knowledge, Schlick contended that only statements that are true as a matter of definition, such as those found in formal logic and mathematics, can be considered self-evident. All other statements, he argued, must be evaluated based on empirical evidence. If a statement cannot be confirmed or falsified by evidence, it is deemed metaphysical or meaningless. According to Schlick, such statements hold no value in the pursuit of knowledge. This principle, which Schlick vehemently advocated, found resonance among his contemporaries, particularly the members of the Vienna Circle, a group of philosophers and scientists committed to advancing logical positivism. 
They, along with the influential philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein, recognized the significance of evaluating statements based on their empirical verifiability. Schlick's ideas on the meaninglessness of metaphysical statements aligned with the core principles of the Vienna Circle, fostering agreement among its members. Schlick's general theory of knowledge, despite later developments in his philosophy that challenged some of his epistemological claims, remains a significant contribution to the understanding of knowledge and its limitations. His emphasis on the importance of empirical evidence in evaluating statements has practical implications for our daily lives. It reminds us to approach information critically, seeking evidence and reasoning to support or challenge our beliefs. By embracing Schlick's perspective, we can navigate the complexities of an increasingly information-driven world with a greater sense of discernment and intellectual honesty. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.